Hello everybody and welcome to our latest um, webinar series which we are now doing focusing on the Caribbean and um, we're his, uh, kicking things off with uh, probably the most classic and most famous um, place in the Caribbean, um, the beautiful St Lucia. Um, so we're joined today by Chelsea who's from the um, St Lucia Tourist Board who's going to chat to us about um, a bit more general things about um, the beautiful destination. And then we have Carolyn, who's joining us, who is the owner and executive director of Jade Mountain and Arms Chast... I'm not going to be able to pronounce it again, but... Arms Chastanay. <laughs> Arms Chastanay, sorry. Um, so, yes, they'll, um, Carolyn's going to be talking to us about those two properties. Um, we were meant to have Ross coming from Cap Maison, um, but unfortunately he's been held up so he won't be able to join us today but we'll make sure to cover Cat Maison in another um, webinar next time. So um, if you have any questions then definitely um, let us know. Someone said that they can't hear anything but I'm not sure if that's perhaps something on your computer because I don't think anyone else, if anyone else can't hear us properly then just write um, Oh yes, they said they can hear us now. Um, so yeah, but if you have any questions throughout, then please do ask, um, and then we can kind of go through those at the end of each presentation. Um, and yes, without further ado, I'm gonna hand over to you now, Chelsea. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Again, it's a pleasure to meet with you guys to tell you about the best island in the Caribbean, St. Lucia. Um, St. Lucia offers absolutely everything that you and your clients would be looking for the ideal vacation and i will start by showing you a little bit of what we have on offer so sorry one second let me just shift this st lucia is an award-winning destination and when i say an award-winning destination we're, we're known as the world's leading honeymoon destination we've won the award 14 times we've also received awards for adventure um, we've received several awards under our belt and we continue to win these awards. Um, we're a year, we have year-round tropical weather. Um, we have a number of boutique luxury destination, top resorts of the world, a few of which you'll be hearing from today, well, Jade Mountain and Anshasne. And we're a leading nature and adventure destination. We're known for our diving sites. We have excellent sporting facilities and event spaces and diverse attractions and a very rich culture. I will be telling you a lot about all of these throughout this presentation. And we've included here a fun fact that we're the only country in the world to be named after a woman. So when we speak about St. Lucia, we say her. So you'll hear our tagline as let her inspire you. And one second. I will show you this quick video to give you a little tour of the island. Oh, 
Right. So I hope that this video gave you a bit of an insight. Sorry. 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 Okay. There we go. So I hope this video gave you a bit of an insight into what we have on offer in, on the island. So no matter what your client may be into, whether you're a solo traveler, um, looking for romance, you're coming out with the family, St. Lucia has something for everybody. And a little bit on her resume, we're located in the Eastern Caribbean, just 27 miles long and 40 miles wide. So we're a very small island. We've been independent since 1979. And the airport, the island, sorry, has two airports, one in the south, which is the Uenora International Airport, where most of our international flights come through, and one in the north, which is a more of a regional airport, George F.L. Charles Airport, um, which smaller planes land on. Our official language is English, but we do have a very large um, percentage of our population that speak a French Creole or Patois, so you will be you and your clients will be will not be very surprised to go and hear people saying bonjour etc so for persons with french influence they will fit right into the saint lucian community the island has over 30 beaches and 22 dive sites with over 25 waterfalls rivers and springs we have a number of adventure activities and we are home to the world the, the caribbean's only sorry drive through volcano so there is something for everybody on the island. A little bit on the areas of interest on the island. In the north, we have Pigeon Island, and I will tell you more about it in the in the presentation. We have Ronnie Bay, the IGY Marina. Um, we have again the Georgia for Charles Airport in the north and Uranora in the south. Our center, our capital city, Castries, is located right here in the northwest of the island and Marigo Bay Marina as well, and Sufra, which is the home of the Pitons and the volcano on the west coast. So um, you've heard about St. Lucia, and I'm pretty sure that everybody here would have at some point come across an image of a world famous Pitons. It is a world heritage site, um, two mountains, and fun fact, they are, despite how they look in a lot of the images taken, they are not next to each other. They're over three miles, if I remember correctly, away from each other, and they stand perfectly, perfectly awaiting your arrival. Here you'll see a picture of our drive through volcano. You will see that it is an active volcano. Um, visitors to the island get an opportunity to tour the volcano and of course to enjoy, enjoy our mud springs, the baths, and I will show you a bit more on that. Pictured here is the Marigo Bay Marina, and Marigo Bay R Marina is famous because it was in the movie Dr. Doolittle, I think the 1960s version. And we also still have a restaurant there named the Doolittle Restaurant um, in memory of the, of the filming. It is a beautiful, amazing marina, and a lot of our yacht, our yacht visitors to the island enjoy going there and docking, and there are, of course, hotels nearby in the vicinity. St. Lucia, as we mentioned, we have over 35 beaches and our visitors can enjoy a number of options, including white sand and black sand beaches. As I mentioned, we're a volcanic island. So on along the west coast of the island, you will find that a number of the beaches are black sand beaches. And pictured here is the Pigeon Island National Landmark and the Pigeon Island National Landmark used to actually, Pigeon Island it was an island actually separated from St. Lucia. Um, early on in the 1940s and we created a man-made causeway to join the islands together. It was also the point where the British were stationed to fight against the French. So a little bit of history for you here on the island and from this point which is Fort Ronnie on Pigeon Island you get a very clear view of Martinique on a good day of course um, but this is where the British would stand stationed in their battle against the French for the lovely island of St. Lucia. So we have many, we have five star yachting amenities and I mentioned that we have two marinas on the island, um, the Ronnie Bay Marina, well, 
to Lodge Marina, Serrano Bay Marina, and as well as Marigo Bay Marina. We have several docking conveniences. It's very easy for um, yachts coming to the island with a multitude of slips in either of the marinas. Um, but you can get duty free fuel, high quality yachting provisions, and of course, hotels and online amenities right around uh, the marinas, including access to restaurants and nightlife, of course. We have abundance. I mentioned that we had 150 adventure activities on the island, but there are several activities for your clients coming in. You can zip line um, across the island with a view of the pitons in the background or over rivers through the forest. Or if you prefer, you can take the aerial tram, which is safer for families or younger children to enjoy sky views of the island. I mentioned our sulfur springs mud baths. So here you get water coming directly from the, from the volcano into this mud bath, naturally always hot. And you can get a visitors coming to the island enjoy rubbing themselves with the, the mud from the volcano. And it's said to be very therapeutic, very therapeutic, um, helps with any ailing muscles, etc. We have Reju Beach, and Reju Beach is a very popular beach for visitors to the island. It's close to Pigeon Island, um, and it's also close to Rodney Bay and the marina. It's right in the heart of um, Grosley, which is known for its nightlife, known for its restaurants. So it's very family focused. Um, so a lot of families with their kids come across to this beach. We have, you can do um, segueing, any type of biking, including ATV, mountain biking through the island, through our forest. Um, Tet Pole Nature Trail is another big love for visitors to the island because it is it is a trail for non-hikers. And I say non-hikers because um, you'll see in our picture this young lady here with slippers because the trail is very well maintained. Um, it's like a 15 minute hike, 15 to 20 minute hike that takes you to the top and from there, you have a lovely view of Pita Pita and on a clear day, you get to see as far out as St. Vincent. Bird watching is a very big, um, big activity on the island as well. You can take a buggy and drive through the island and driving around the island, a full drive around the island takes you just over three hours. So it is definitely a must do. We have several options for waterfalls, those that include more of a hike or those that are right near the road, um, catering to anybody, whatever your, um, any limitations that you may have, we, you can certainly find a waterfall that can suit you. Horseback riding is also a big option for, for clients coming to the island. Kayaking from glass boats to regular kayaks as well. Um, snoover, snorkeling, whatever your uh, underwater dreams may be, including sea helmet treks, we offer that on the island as well. Um, there, is a, there is a very, very big nautical culture on the island. A lot of people come to go deep sea fishing, whale watching, diving, and the likes. And I'll stop for a second here to speak on Project Chocolat. Project Chocolat, a lot, chocolate has become a very big part of what we do in St. Lucia. But Project Chocolat gives visitors to the island an, an opportunity to create their own chocolates from farm to the wrapper um, in a sense. So you walk through the cocoa farm, pick your own cocoa um, and break it up and mash it to create your own chocolates and design it as you please. So it's a very big activity, very popular activity for visitors to the island. We do also bamboo, offer bamboo rafting and this is an activity that is fairly new to the island, started last year in 2022. Um, and it's gaining quite a bit of traction and takes you down one of our largest rivers on the island. The through kayaking I had mentioned is also an option as well. And I will pause for a second here to talk about our food. St. Lucian food is heavily influenced by several cultures. I mean, we have a rich French culture, rich Caribbean culture, and we are known for producing good food. Um, we have a number of restaurants available on the island and I encourage you, your clients, anyone coming to the island to take time to experience our local food. 
whether it be in a five-star accommodations, if your clients are lovers of street food, or if you just love going to the local shops and tasting, I, I encourage you to take time to enjoy our local food, guaranteed. You will love and enjoy it. And I'm sure that Carolyn will tell you a lot more about the food offered at Jade Mountain and Anchesney as they're well known for their own culinary delights. We're also known for our rums, um, we offer a rum and rhythm tour and Chairman's Reserve Spiced is one of the brands that are locally produced on the island. So visitors can enjoy um, a, a tour of the plant as well as an option to sample all of the rums available. St. Lucia also does a Cabaway crawl and Cabaway is our Creole, our local term for the word rum shop like and similar to pubs in, in the UK. So we offer a Cabaway crawl where Persons essentially get to hop from one cabaway to the next to enjoy the local rums and to mix and spend time with the, the local people and just to bask in the local cultures and traditions. And I encourage you, if you are on the island, to take time to do the cabaway crawl. Again, we also produce our own bears, Pito Bear, after our Pito Mountains. It's definitely a must try, definitely. So we are the romance capital of the world. I mentioned that we've won the world's leading honeymoon destination 14 times running. So, and St. Lucia offers you a lot of opportunities for persons looking to come to the island, whether you're coming to get married, whether you're coming for your bachelor or bachelorette party, whether you're coming for the honeymoon, we offer something for everybody. And we're known for our weddings and destination weddings, whatever it may be, iconic celebrations of any kind. To get married on the island, there's no residency period required. Um, we, there's a same day fee of 540 EC dollars and for two days or more before getting married, you pay $345. The license application can be made upon arrival into the island. And I mentioned that we're known for our weddings and we've created some very iconic weddings. And this is just one of the many ways persons have gotten married on the island of St. Lucia. So diverse accommodations. I really want to say that um, Carolyn will blow your mind when it comes to accommodation during her presentations. But in addition to, to Carolyn's resort, we have a lo lovely, absolutely stunning one in a million resorts on the island that your clients will enjoy no matter what their interests are. So if you want to be one with nature, there are properties that suit that. If you prefer more of a city vibe, you, you want to relax. And then we also have the collection DPT DPP, sorry, which of which encompasses hotels or Airbnb, B&Bs, um, boutique hotels and inns that have 35 rooms or less. And you'll find that we have quite a few options available. So for those clients looking for a more intimate experience, we have the collection DPP to offer. So St. Lucia offers a year-round calendar of events. So we have the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival from April to May 2024, and it's an annual festival. Last year, we had Sting and Shaggy, if I remember correctly, as the headliner. Um, we For last year's festival, we have a jazz and arts component, so it encompasses not just jazz and not just traditional jazz, but, but it's become a music and um the arts have really transformed it. It includes fashion shows, it includes ex explosions and demonstrations of our local arts and crafts. And it really is a full around experience. And I encourage anyone who's a lover of music, a lover of art, to experience the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. St. Lucia Carnival, of course, is, first, is the first to the 17th of July. Um, we have Creole Heritage Month, and Creole Heritage Month is a celebration of our Creole language and Creole culture that culminates with with World Creole Day on 27th of October. We also have the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers and the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers set sail from Las Palmas. It's actually scheduled to set sail Sunday, this coming Sunday from Las Palmas when they sail 2,700 sorry, nautical miles across the Atlantic and, and in St. Lucia. Um, the, it happens every year in December and this year the yachts should be getting to St. Lucia just about the 16th of December. So we will welcome over 200 yachts with just over a thousand participants um, sailing to our shores. And um, one thing that we always encourage visitors to the island to try is our grizzly 
Friday night street party. It happens every Friday in Grizzly, and Grizzly is in the very north of the island. And it's a street party where you can enjoy the local food, meet with the locals, dance, um, enjoy our craft, enjoy our culture, and enjoy our music most of all. It is lovely. And anyone who's been to St. Lucia and has experience will tell you that it is certainly a must try. So a few quick facts on the island. Um, we offer direct flights from the UK, USA, and Canada, and the Caribbean to St. Lucia. Um, from the UK, we have British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and TUI flying. We have two airports I mentioned, Uwanura and Georgia Fell Charles, and the transfer time is approximately 90 minutes by road from the international airport in the south for those people staying in hotels in the north. So if your hotel is in the Grizzly, Cassius Grizzly area, the transfer time would be just about 90 minutes and 10 minutes by, by helicopter. The island offers tropical weather all around with an average high of 20 degrees Celsius. Our currency is EC dollars um, and US dollars. And you'd see the conversion here to just about one US is e equivalent to just 2.70 EC dollars. Um, to come to the island, passport, your passport must be valid for the duration of the trip. And British and Irish passport holders do not require passports to visa, sorry, to come to St. Lucia. Um, a little more on the airlines. British Airways offers daily flights, six, six days, six flights weekly, Wednesday to Monday. Um, daily from 16th of October until, until the end of the peak season in March. Um, with TUI, there's one flight weekly. With Virgin Atlantic, you can get two flights weekly from 17th November and then four weekly from December, 1st of December to 12th of May. Um, for, we encourage you to let your clients know that we now have the new electronic immigration forms so persons can fill out the immigration forms before arriving on the island. Um, this ensures that they reduce their time spent with immigration officials and, and persons can fill out these forms at least two days before they travel to the island. There are many ways for persons to explore the island. You can do via land or you can opt to see the island via ferry or catamaran or via helicopter. Each way offers a unique view and I encourage you if you have the means to see it, all three ways to do so. You can guarantee that it'll be a very different experience. We encourage you to become a St. Lucia expert. If you are a St. Lucia, if you're not yet a St. Lucia expert, to sign up to become an expert because there are a ton of rewards and, and perks that you can get from becoming an expert, including an opportunity for discounts, etc., as well as to go to St. Lucia on a fam trip. And also SLAM, our SLAM program, our St. Lucia Agent Month program, it ends in just about two weeks. Um, under SLAM, you get opportunities for discounts, et cetera, on the island. So for those people who are not yet St. Lucia experts, now is the time to check it out to see what opportunities are available for you. And if you are considering, you still have two weeks to become an expert to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, Nicole Compton, I, I inserted this slide here because Nicole Compton is responsible for the trade and she would be your point of contact with any questions that you may have after this presentation. Well, not after this presentation, but if you decided that you have a client that you'd like to take to the island or if you yourself would like to learn more, you can reach out to Nicole and she will be able to tell you. So that is my presentation. I hope I have given you something to think about about the lovely island of St. Lucia. And I hope that you have been inspired to visit us. Um, I will take any questions that you may have. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Um, we have a couple questions. And the first one is, um, would you say that St. Lucia is a vegan friendly destination? St. Lucia is a vegan-friendly destination. Um, we do have restaurants that cater to everyone. As with every country, it will be a little more challenging to find vegan foods, but there are a lot of options available on the island. We do have um, vegan and vegetarian restaurants. I encourage you to just do a little bit of research um, before coming to the island to ensure 
that you can get what you need. Perfect, thank you. Um, and then we've got another question, which is, do US and Canadian travelers need a visa to visit Samusha? No, they do not. Um, and which area is the best for families? Or is it basically everywhere? <laughs> I, I would say basically everywhere. I, when, when it comes to families, I encourage persons to, no matter where in the island you get to, because St. Nature is such a small island, it's easy to take a bus or a coach and, and catch a ride up to another part of the island to experience something else. I encourage you to find a location that suits your family. So if you're going to St. Lucia to spend time on the beach, find a resort that is close to the beach. If you're going to St. Lucia to spend time hiking or adventuring, find a resort that puts you close to there. And then you can always bus it to the other destinations that you want to explore. But I see Ross nodding his head because I think St. Lucia really and truly, you come with your family, you can stay at any any resort, any any B and B, etc., on the island, because it's very easy for you to get around to the other parts. Perfect. Thank you. Um, great. Actually, I can see that Ross has now um, been able to come in from uh, Cap Maison, which is which is wonderful. So, um, what we'll do, Ross, is we'll have Carolyn's presentation first on um, Jade um, and Anne's just. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get that and get the name right. Fantastic. Um, yep, yep. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll have that presentation first, um, and then we'll be able to do the um, Cat Maison uh, one with you, Ross. So perfect. Um, and thank you so much again, Chelsea, for joining us today and talking um, on behalf um, of the uh, Tourist Board. And um, yeah, for the people that need the details um, of the tourist board, Nicole, um, I'll be able to send out an email after the, um, the webinar uh, for those. So um, let's now move on to um, Carolyn. So I've, um, you can now share your screen. Um, Did this you... work? Do you see my screen? Um, not just yet. Oh, really? Because I shared it Sh showing post show show screen it says showing post main main screen maybe you need to change presenter no? um, let me try did you click on main sorry everybody um did you click on show I, yeah. main screen when yeah i did okay i'm doing it one more time let me get out of, because it looks like it's sharing. So show my screen. I'm doing it one more time. Is it yes. working now? Yes, we can see it now. Okay. Well, hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I, I threw in a little slide here so that you know where I am. I'm actually um, in um, New Orleans, and that drop hotel room that I'm sitting in is definitely not Anshastne or Chate Mountain. We are at a dive travel show in New Orleans, and that's the team here. And uh, Chelsea spoke a little bit about our culinary delight and even delights. And even though this show is all about dive travel, we brought our local cocoa tea to New Orleans, which is a big hit and our booth is the most visited. Now, let me see if I can, so here. So today we are talking about um, Anne's Chastenay and Shade Mountain. Um, oh dear, this is now not good. It is, can I just give me one second? Um, I have to set, um, sorry, give me a second. I have to change the setting to manual. Let me try again. Um, now we can talk. So my husband, Nick, and I own two resorts in St. Lucia and Chastain and Shade Mountain. We are in the most scenic part of the island, which is the southwest corner, which is where you also have our famous Piton Mountains, which, as you know, is a World Heritage Site. Um, one of the, uh, I would say, misperceptions often is when I say two resorts and when you look at Shade Mountain individually and Ashasna individually is to understand really the connection between the resorts. Um, they're actually directly adjoining. So on this picture that you see in front of you, you see that Anshastane is on the lower hillside and at beach level and then directly above sits Shade Mountain. And so when you stay at Shade Mountain, you have privileges at the sister resort, Anshastane. Um, 
it is actually an easy stroll downhill. It takes you about four minutes, five minutes to go down to Aunt Chastanay Beach. But uh, we also have resort shuttles. Um, most guests do walk down and then they may take the shuttle back up to go back to Jade Mountain. Um, by lucky coincidence, and I say coincidence because when my husband bought Aunt Chastanay in 70, 1974, um, Nobody knew there was excellent scuba diving on island and we are actually in the heart of all of the islands best diving. And again, when you look at this uh, picture, you can see that the reefs start right offshore and that it is also not just good for, snor for scuba diving, but also snorkeling. So an, a really beautiful area also for water sports enthusiasts, scuba divers, snorkelers. Um, in terms of size, Anne Chastanay has 49 rooms. 37 are on a hillside, 12 are at beach level, and Chate Mountain itself has 29 pool sanctuaries. I will, of course, give you a little bit more detail as we go on. Um, the property itself is a 600-acre estate stretching over two valleys and giving us the advantage of two beaches. The beaches are connected with a little coastal road. You can take a, a nice long walk in the morning along the beach, or what's even better, in the valley behind the second beach, we have over 12 miles of our own private resort hiking and mountain biking trails. And uh, these are amidst a um, 19th century plantation where you still have historical ruins. So it's, it's really a very pretty area where we also, for example, offer bird watching. Um, in terms of location, Sufre is at the um, southwest corner of the international airport is in view Ford. It's an hour's drive uh, if you come by land taxi to Sofra. Um, just to give you an idea, the capital is up here. And if you go up to the north of the island, you would take the East Coast Road, East Coast Road going up. But when you come to our property, you would take the, the West Coast Road. And uh, it's 60 minutes from the airport. But we also have a private helipad. We're the only resort with a private helipad. And if you chose to take the helicopter, that only takes about six minutes. It's very James Bondish and quite a nice way to arrive, especially if you have someone with you that you really want to impress. These are just some snapshots of our Anne Beach. I don't have a picture yet, but we have brand new lounge chairs here for the beach. Uh, we did uh, over $1 million in investment this year in refurbishment and, you know, just making sure everything looks fresh. This is the second beach of Anne's Mamin. It's just lovely. Um, I know that Chelsea said that, uh, you know, our beaches are a sort of volcanic. They are, but I don't necessarily always call them black sand beaches because the color really changes with the sunlight. Like you can see, this is a volcanic beach. It goes from a beige to a silver color, depending uh, whether it's raining or not. And they're just beautiful beaches and uh, crystal clear water. Um, and Chastanay is a property very dear to my heart. My husband uh, bought this property in 74. I've been involved since 1984. And uh, I have a background a little bit, not just in tourism and marketing, but also art. And so I curated a very, really, really nice art collection. Every hotel room has original art, not just by local artists, um, which we of course celebrate, but also international artists that came to stay with us over a period of over 35 years and left some artwork behind. Um, out of the 49 rooms, the top category is the premium hillside room. Now I'm showing you an open wall room. Um, not many rooms at Aunt Chastanay are open walled. Uh, this is one of five that have an open wall, but they were certainly the catalyst for Chate Mountain to, to be designed and built. Um, the premium rooms are on top of the Aunt Chastanay hillside before you get to Chate and therefore have the most stunning of, of the views that you have. Here again, we have also done some nice uh, refurbishment with beautiful teak furniture. And um, out of the 49 rooms, I mentioned 37 on a hillside, 12 are at beach level. Um, the ones at beach level are air conditioned, the ones on the hillside enjoy beautiful natural breezes. There is also two one of a kind suites. This is the um, Piton pool suite, which has a private pool and that suite can be connected with another room. 
Um, we cater to not just couples in Chasne, but we also accept uh, children from age six in the summer, age 10 in the winter. And it is a really great property for families, especially with the slightly older children. I love when they're in the teenage years because we have so many activities on offer, which I will show you in a second, that it is really, um, you can keep children very busy and keep them off their, their iPads and, and video games. Uh, hoping here, <laughs> not that I ever kept my children off that. Um, we celebrate our Creole heritage. Um, you will see that in the furnishing of the rooms, but also how in the uniform of our team members at Anne Chastenay. When you come down for breakfast, you can sample our lovely cocoa tea or some other delicacies. Um, and we give you an amazing array of dining options at Anne Chastenay. And remember when you stay at Shade Mountain, you have privileges here. So if you have an all-inclusive or half port meal plan at Shade Mountain, you can have breakfast either at Shade or, or Anne Chastenay and you just sign as if it was one property. So at Anne Chastenay, not only do you have uh, excellent modern Caribbean cuisine, you also have the Jungle Grill uh, for Simple Grill Fair. You have our Apsara restaurant, which offers East Indian solution fusion dining. And then we are very, very proud of our vegan offering. So if you have vegan clients, we have an entirely vegan restaurant. And not only that, we also ensure that every menu has vegan offering, offerings. We are also well known for our, uh, I would say, impressive range of adventure activities. Uh, I mentioned that we're surrounded by all of the island's best dive sites um, and snorkel sites. Um, we uh, own and operate a party five-star scuba operation. This is why I'm in New Orleans now also for the dive show. Dive travel is a big part of our business. And uh, um, obviously, if you have never dived, you can learn how to dive with us. We offer a full schedule, beach boat diving daily, and also night diving right off the shore twice weekly. We offer um, our jungle biking trails in the, in the old 19th century estate that I mentioned behind the second beach. You can rent mountain bikes from us. We have non-motorized water sports, or you also have um, these sit-inside kayaks that are very sportive where we do coastal kayaking adventures. We have a fantastic sustainability story. We offer behind the scenes tours. We're very proud that we have recently brought on our Reef Life and Renewal Ambassador, and we also have two coral nurseries. That's why I'm saying if you bring us teenagers, you know, they can learn more about how to restore coral. We do critter behavior classes. It's quite fascinating. We can do a lot of wonderful things. Uh, we curate quite a few of our own excursions using our own sailboats and using our motor yachts. We do like our own sunset cruises, but we're also near all of the sightseeing attractions. Very popular is climbing the Gros Piton. That is certainly something a lot of our clients want to do. Um, it is not easy, so don't send everyone up there. They have to be fairly fit. And uh, we are near the, the famous drive-in volcano botanical garden. So if you want to leave property, there's a lot to do. One of our latest activities, um, showing my love for art again is that we have a resident art teacher and we offer complimentary art classes twice weekly and if you are interested you can also book more art classes on private basis so now we're going to come to jade mountain my husband built jade mountain it opened in 2007 it is uh, his declaration of love to the island of St. Lucia, a celebration of the beautiful views, uh, but it's truly unique architecture. When you arrive, you first see a myriad of bridges. You have to cross over your private bridge to get to the entrance door of your suites. And then here you are and you see your suite for the first time. Um, these are all open wall experiences, all all of them with a dramatic view of the Piton Mountains and uh, with 15 foot high ceilings. And uh, out of the 29 sanctuaries, 24 have private pools. These are not plunge pools. These pools are up to 900 square feet in size. And uh, the categories are called star, moon, sun. All you need to remember, the, the higher the price of Shade Mountain, the bigger the pool, the bigger the suite, but nothing is really plunge poolish. This is, for example, a moon sanctuary. You see the pool tile color is different here. Every sanctuary has different pool tile colors. And uh, this is here a sun infinity pool sanctuary. These go up to 2,000 square feet in size and the pools here up to 900 square feet in size. Um, this is one of my favorite pictures showcasing another sun sanctuary with a China red uh, pool tile. I thought my husband was completely 
mad when he chose these glass tiles, but now, especially the red one, but uh, now this is my favorite room. And then you see that we have diff different uh, tropical hardwoods that were sustainably ha harvested that are also a very special feature in these rooms. This is, for example, called snake wood. And uh, um, how do we keep them so nice and shiny? Uh, it's an open wall environment. We take these uh, sanctuaries out twice a year to completely re we finish them. Um, even the, the, the couple's tubs have a few of the pitons. And the top category are our galaxy sanctuaries. These are the three um, sanctuaries on the highest location on the uh, west corner. Not only do you have the beautiful piton views, but also beautiful sunsets. That is also the galaxy sanctuary. And here you can again appreciate um, the sheer size of these uh, accommodations, the open wall, um, uh, inspiration really and uh, again it shows clearly the open platform design so whether you're in your bed on your couch or in in your gigantic pool you're always one and one with a few the pools are all heated you can stay in there forever and of course this is a, a couple's or oh, um, adults only property. It is mostly couples. We see the occasional single. Um, the singles that come to us, they usually want to stay single. I remember one single who actually sent us a letter saying, whatever you do, do not introduce me ever to other guests and, and avoid greeting and asking how I am all the time. So interesting singles that come to us enjoying the serenity of the sanctuaries. We have um, introduced a new serenity wellness package that's on our website and it will be shared with our two operators soon. We have recently retiled two of the pools and because I have fallen in love with the red pool tile, my husband surprised me by using a very beautiful rainbow-like red pool tile. The only problem is that I thought we were sticking with blue colors and all the refurnishings I did in blue shades, but that's the husband and wife scenario. But it works quite well. And then here is just one of the refurnished uh, suites. And what I really love is that uh, we actually also build our own furniture. What you see here, the wooden furniture is built by our, our own carpentry tree team. It is called the Jade Mountain Elysium Masterpieces. And uh, soon, if you want to buy them, we will also have them for sale. But it's a slow process. You can see how beautifully done they are. And I'm very proud of our carpentry team. This is now also another refurnished um, uh, sanctuary. Um, the furniture is really, we call it eclectic because we're not sticking to one type. Uh, every sanctuary has their own style. Um, I mentioned that Jade Mountain has 29 uh, sanctuaries and 24 have private pools. The price leading category called Sky um, does not have a private pool but has the couple's uh, bathtub. They have also been refurbished and they also have the open wall with a beautiful piton fuse. The service team is led by our major domos. Um, they're uh, available 24-7. Jade Mountain guests have their own restaurant, the Jade Mountain Club. Um, uh, on top of Jade Mountain, um, but they also have, of course, privileges at Al Shastanese Resorts. There's also the beautiful Celestial Terrace for sunset drinks or stargazing, beautiful location. We have had a lot of proposals there, uh, you know, private dinner setups and guests want to propose up there or even weddings. We do amazing private dinners. There's two beaches. Uh, if you go to the second beach, which is, which is a little further away, we call it the Castaway Dinner. Um, which is amazing. And um, then we have our own organic farm. It's about 20 minutes from the property that you can visit. We love getting our own fresh produce from there. We are still a big supporter, of course, of all of our local farmers. What we grow on our farm is like the sort of stuff we don't easily get from the local farmers. So it's a very nice um, relationship. We do a lot of different cooking classes, vegan cooking classes, uh, uh, rum tastings, um, um, red wine and chocolate tastings. Guess what? We even have a microbrewery at our farm so you can do beer tasting. Uh, my son has uh, created this uh, microbrewery. We also own part of Antillian beer. So we, we make a local beer that you can taste. Um, not only that, we have over 2000 cacao trees and we were in fact, um, the pioneer that started making fine chocolate in St. Lucia. You have heard of Hotel Chocolate, but they started out, uh, first of all, uh, exporting cocoa beans, cacao beans to their factory in England. But we started making, of course, on a much smaller scale, fine chocolate from our own cocoa beans and could inspire other 
uh, solutions to become artisanal chocolate makers. So we're very proud of that, that we started a trend. Um, and of course, we have a chocolate laboratory at Jade Mountain. You can um, take a chocolate making class. If that doesn't set, you know, if that isn't for you, try our chocolate infused stout beer or go to the spa and have the therapist cover you in chocolate. One way or another, we'll get you with that chocolate. And uh, we have, of course, a little boutique spa at Shade Mountain, but also at Anshastane. We offer complimentary yoga, um, both at Anshastane and Shade Mountain. You can also do private classes. We still have a tiny bit of uh, festive availability. Hummingbird should help you with that. We have no minimum mom stays at this time. And as I mentioned, you are able to do a behind the scenes too. We have. Um, Really, everything what we do with our portable, um, the, the portable, this is spelling mistake, water management and also wastewater management, we, we make our own water. So there's a lot that we want to showcase to you. Um, and uh, we were actually named um, Ocean Champions by the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. And we even won the Caribbean Sustainable Tourism Award from the Caribbean Tourism Organization. Um, there is something I want to highlight quickly, then I'm done, um, that we have two links for advisors. It's called unshastane.com agent info, jademountain.com agent info. These are great links to download resort information from. And, uh, you know, again, there's so many things to do, depending on what everybody likes to do when they are staying with us, from jungle biking, snorkeling, chocolate making, to cooking classes. It's all wonderful. That's my presentation. Uh, I'm now stopping sharing the screen. Olivia, I hope I haven't overstayed my welcome. No, not at all. Um, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, and we've got, yeah, a couple questions. Um, just in the meantime, I've made you present to Ross if you want to have a go at sharing the screen just um, while we go through these questions with Carolyn. Um, so we've got one that screen. is... Um, is it safe for hiking and swimming? Um, are there any snakes and spiders on the trails around the property? No, um, the, um, the, the, there are snakes on island, but they're usually in just very specific locations. Um, I, I keep joking that I've seen more spiders when I grew up in Bavaria than in St. Lucia. It's, it's a rare occurrence and it's not something our guests would see. Okay, perfect. Um, also, Ross, the share screen icon is just below the video icon um, on the control panel. Um, and then the next question, so someone basically asked um, that they want to receive some content to be able to promote um, your properties on social media. So what I'll do um, in my follow-up newsletter after the webinar, I'll send um, obviously the webinar recording um, and then I'll send, um, I'll get some collateral from Carolyn photos, all that kind of stuff um, to send in the newsletter so people can use those um, in their own promotional stuff. Um, and yeah, if you have any more questions about um, either of the properties, then feel free to email me afterwards um, and I can check with um, Carolyn on that. Um, and yeah, we've got all the rates on our side, um, all the offers, so please do reach out to us if you have any inquiries, um, particularly over the festive season. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again, Carolyn, um, for coming on today and speaking about the two beautiful properties. And my um, manager, um, Karen, actually was at the Jade Mountain a couple of months ago. I was just saying to Carolyn before, and she absolutely loved it, said it was like one of the most amazing places she's ever stayed at. Um, and we all get to go to some amazing places. So that definitely says something. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you so much again. Um, and great, I can see that we've got the presentation up um, for Ross. So, yeah, we'll hear a bit about Cap Maison now. And if anyone has any questions throughout, then please do feel free um, to ask. And I'll hand over to you now, Ross. Oh, you've been put on mute. Sorry. I've unmuted you now. <laughs> Say something again. Mm -hmm. Can't hear you weirdly, but um, on your control panel, there's like the microphone button if you want to. Oh yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Sure. Can you please see my screen? 
Yeah, we can see your screen and we can hear you perfectly. Um, Sorry, what did you say? Can you see the screen now, Olivia? Yeah, yeah we can see the screen. Perfect. Um, thank you very much for spending on all about St. Lucia. Um, Caroline has a beautiful property in Jane. I've just uh, stayed lucky enough to stay there a few times. So it really is a special place. Um, I just want to say thank you to your, the whole team um, for supporting us. I know we had a relatively uh, new relationship, but the inquiries that we've had from your offices have been really, really good. And Dean said, Claudia, Sarah, Antonia and Javier Xavier um, have all sent in the inquiries and some bookings just as well. So we're very, very thankful for that. Um, I'm delighted to announce that as of the 9th of November, Cap Maison has been um, uh, invited to join Rally Chateau. So we are the first property in St. Lucia to be invited to join. And it really is a culmination of the past 15 years of the life of Cap Maison. Um, that we're now able to be part of that uh, lovely family of Rally Chateau. And as you know, Rally Chateau, privately owned, family run, very emphasis on service, food and beverage. And then food and beverage, certainly, and service is uh, three elements of what we do well. Um, so where, where are we? We're on the northwest side of the island, close to Rodney Bay, uh, with its bars and restaurants. Um, as Carolyn mentioned, the international airports in the south, and you need to take a road transfer, a ferry transfer, or a helicopter transfer to the smaller airport in the north. Um, we have also launched a promotion, if you'll guess, say five nights in a villa with a pool. We throw in the helicopter transfer on arrival and a luxury transfer on departure. Great value and a great uh, introduction to seeing St. Lucia as well. It really is the Jurassic Park of the Caribbean. So we're located on this bluff, uh, which gives us wide sweeping views out to the Caribbean Sea. Sorry, we Ross, uh, is your um, screen meant to be moving because it stayed on just the yeah. first page? You... Yes, it, it's moving on mine, Olivia. Uh, it just um, has the first page, which says Cap Maison. It hasn't moved. Um, okay. Is I don't it know. Now? Uh, no. It kind of looks like there's like a, a scroll on the right hand side, but I don't know if you've gone full screen to be able to click through. Um, but it's just stayed on the. Oh yeah. So now it says um, it has a map and it says who and where we are. Correct. Right. Okay. I'll find moving to the next screen. See if you can see that, Olivia. Next screen. Yep, we can see that. Okay, so that's the location. We're on this bluff elevated uh, with great views out to the Caribbean Sea. Um, and then down below the bluff is the beach. It's called Smuggler's Cove. And it's home to our second rest with the naked fishermen. Um, beautiful little cove, very safe for kids because there's no uh, possibility of losing them in terms of its uh, secluded and you can see the entire beach. Great swimming left and right, non-motorized water sports. Um, and then that's the view from the main pool of the west. It's a beautiful sunset. Uh, we've just finished a $3 million refurbishment program in the hotel. So all public areas and restaurants and rooms have been refurbished, uh, looking really, really nice. The theme for the refurbishment was romantic hacienda. So we've always had the architecture which points to the Caribbean, Mexico, and North Africa. Um, so inside the building now is the sort of romantic hacienda type feel. Um, for those that visited before, the villas are either on the ground floor with a pool out front or on the first floor with a rooftop terrace and a pool. And essentially we have three main categories. We have garden view, junior suite, and the villa suite. The villa suites come with the pools. Um, this is a slide to show the refurbishment. So it's a very clean look in terms of uh, the refurbishment that we've done. 
beautiful landscape gardens throughout the property. Uh, this is a view from the junior suite and then the bus suite with the rooftop terrace and pool. Who do we appeal to? We appeal to couples on special occasions, anniversaries, honeymoons, and because of the configuration of the villas, one, two, and three bedrooms, is perfect for families as well. We typically get families Christmas, Easter, and half term. And outside those times, the majority of our clients are there to uh, celebrate something special. Food, food and restaurants have always been a big part of our DNA. Uh, my background is food and beverage through hotels over the years. I opened this hotel 15 years ago. And our chef, Craig, uh, who's been with us from the beginning as well, his background has been in Michelin and Rally Chateau. So again, food uh, and everything connected with food is high on our agenda. Beautiful locations for the restaurant. Uh, it's the Cliff Bar. Uh, we have a very large wine program of 350 wines from 15 different countries. Uh, food is fantastic. Uh, Craig is the best local ingredients. And then because of his classic French background, he uses that to give a twist between the Caribbean and the classic French. He was voted Caribbean Chef of the Year in 2017. And then we have this lovely little private dining deck down below the Cliff Restaurant. Um, it has its own champagne zip line that connects from the bar above, takes champagne down to the deck, and also has taken quite a number of engagement rings down to the deck as well. Very, very popular, needs to be booked well in advance. Most of the evening, you find couples down there celebrating a special occasion. Then on the beach, uh, as I mentioned, we have the Nature and Restaurant. Uh, relaxed, informal, great little spot to spend the day having a nice bottle of rosé with seafood, as I mentioned on motorized resource. There are only steps going down to the beach, so for you and I, it's fine. If anybody is impaired of walking, then it wouldn't be ideal. Although we would shuttle to other beaches on the on the north of the island. Um, great snorkeling, as I mentioned, and a strong emphasis on uh, seafood as well as meats, but mostly seafood in the restaurant at the Naked Fisherman. Uh, with all things food and beverage, we uh, age and bottle our own rum on property, and we have a wine cellar where we. Um, wine tastings, rum tastings, wine prepared evenings as well. And we have 44 different food and beverage experiences that the guests can participate in. And I love this picture of Craig and his team. Craig, uh, the guy in the middle, affectionately known as the white Welsh Rastafarian bodybuilder. Um, and all the rest of his staff are local solutions, which he's developed over the years. And he had a great bunch of people very passionate about what they do uh, in terms of the quality of the the produce and the, and the cuisine that we have. So in a nutshell, uh, our market is 60% uh, US, 40% UK. Special occasions, anniversaries, honeymoon is a big part of what we do. But families also is a big part. Uh, and we are dedicated to providing great personal service. Uh, and then we're looking here to look after each and every of your guests. When you have time, please come and stay with us to experience it. We think it's always better once you've touched it, smelt it, felt it, that you know what it's all about and you're able to impart that information on to your clients. We're having a great year. I'm sure you're seeing the same in terms of inquiries. Winter is looking very strong. Um, if you have inquiries, uh, Janelle and Trisha in the office are always very good at turning around the inquiries very quickly. Uh, we know that's important to you to get decisions back to your clients and um, thank you for the business that you've given us and thank you for the uh, continued business in the future and thank you for your time this morning thank you amazing thank you so much ross um so we don't have any questions um oh sorry someone has asked um Oh yeah, they want to um, have the information about the SLAM program that was mentioned in the first slide. Um, so yeah, maybe after the call, if you can just share that with me. Um, and then I can pass it on to um, everyone in my follow-up um, newsletter. Um, so yeah, if anyone um, has any other questions, then please do feel free to ask, um, or you can send me an email afterwards. Um, and yeah, look out for my newsletter uh, follow up with all the um, 
presentations that we went through today and some of the collateral as well so you can use that for your promotional um things on social medias and everything um and yeah i can check with ross on any questions you have about cat news on afterwards as well um but yeah thank you so much for joining us today ross and for chatting us through um what your beautiful property we're really excited um, that we launched the Caribbean because there's just so many amazing products and definitely what St. Lucia has to offer tends to seem like the most amazing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Thank you all so much for joining us um, and looking forward to our next Caribbean webinar. Great. <laughs> thank you again and we'll speak to you soon. Bye.